Hello again, friends. Well, Hobby Day is upon us. I'm excited. This year, though, uh, we're going to be doing a Lazy Day Hobbit Day. Uh, what I mean by that is, in years past, we've had great spreads of food, uh, lots of friends over. It's been it's been most excellent. Um, however, this year it's been very very busy, and we just haven't had time to prepare for this. So today, I'm going to share with you my Lazy Hobbit Day menu, something where you're not spending the whole day trying to cook everything up for everyone. Because what I've found in the past is we make great food, lots of it, but I find myself spending most of my time cooking and getting the food ready rather than spending time with my friends and family. And that's really what Hobby Day is about, is being around your friends and family, right? And so uh, you don't want to spend all your time in the kitchen missing out on everything. So here's what I have planned for this Hobbit Day. So. I'm doing a lot of this that are kind of pre-cooked meals um, or those that are easily put together. So on my menu for this year, something simple for breakfast. I'm going beans and I'm sticking with European UK beans, which can be a little tricky to find here in the States, but I have found some. Uh, toast and sausage, so that'll start us off right with some good proteins um, and a little bit of uh, uh, meat uh, to get us going for the day. Second breakfast is going to be a little bit lighter. Uh, what I have for second breakfast will be apples with honey and cinnamon. Again, all of those are really simple to make. The breakfast is, is pretty much throw it on the stove for a few minutes and then you're done. Second breakfast, you cut it up, throw it with some honey and cinnamon, and you're good to go. Eleven seas, again, very simple. Just some nuts and some cheeses. Uh, you can buy mixed nuts at the store, throw those out on a nice plate cut up a big block of your favorite cheese. Um, and if you want to throw some crackers, go some crackers. Uh, so that was really easy. Lunch is going to be a little bit more involved as it should be, I think. Uh, we're going to go with the French onion soup, which again is relatively simple to make. You can buy pre-made stuff um, or do a little bit of, I'm going to make my own onions, but then I'll add it to kind of the, the soup stock maybe that you get at the store. So that makes it a lot easier. For afternoon tea, well, that one's easy tea, but this one does come with a little bit more time, and that is Bilbo's Seed Cake, which we have as a staple almost every year, and it's totally worth it. With something like this, though, you don't have to watch it. You just throw it in the oven, set the timer, and you're good to go. Dinner will be a rotisserie chicken, not cooked by myself, but by my local grocery store. Rotisserie chickens are really easy. Um, if you want to bake those, those are also relatively easy. Season it, throw it in, set it and forget it kind of thing, but this year, it's just as easy to go buy a pre-made, pre-cooked rotisserie chicken and plate it, make it look nice, um, and call it good. And then for supper, we're gonna do baked sweet potatoes, uh, which again is something that you can just throw in the oven, kind of set the timer, and then be done with it with minimal hassle. Now, all of these that, that we're doing, we are of course gonna throw a little bit of seasoning on there, but we're not gonna do anything crazy. Um, you can, if you want, uh, add sides, you can add, all kinds of sauces to make. But remember, the purpose of the day is really to visit with friends and family, uh, to enjoy others' company, or just company with maybe yourself, just hanging out, taking some time for you, uh, which is extremely important. So while some years we do go all out and the cooking is the centerpiece, uh, this year I think the Lazy Hobbit Day is gonna be most excellent with just friends and hanging out. All right, everyone. Hopefully that will help you get started on your Lazy Hobbit Day meal. And next year, maybe I'll go a little bit crazier with it if time permits. All right, everyone. See you next time.